Now, come on, fellas. I know y'all not gonna act like every fragrance you've ever worn just always gets compliments, all right? Y'all got some fragrances that have gotten negative responses from women. And today I wanna share with you guys some of my stories that I've gotten over decades, all right? These stories go all the way back before some of y'all probably even born. But I wanna tell you guys that I haven't always got compliments. Some fragrances have gotten negative responses. Come on now, don't act like it's just me. Come on, leave a comment down there. Right now, I want y'all to tell me what fragrance you've worn that has gotten negative responses. You ain't always been a player. First up guys is from the Pretty Boy House. This is a juicy, citrusy fragrance that is, to me, is a must have for any man. I don't care how old you are in any collection. You have to have this in your rotation when the weather gets hot. And this is the original Port Homme from Versace. Guys, this is a great, great, easy reach when the summertime comes and the heat is at least over 85, I'd say 80, 85 degrees, especially when it's humid. I've said that this was white t-shirt certified, white linen certified and all of that, easy reach. But I have had a negative response from a woman on this fragrance. I wore this one around someone that I had kind of just met. I had, we had met before, but we hadn't been seeing each other for that long. So I wore this fragrance one day, it was easy reach, and her and I were just meeting up for something very, very casual. And she comes in for a hug and she goes, oh, you smell good. Um, that perfume, is that from another girl or something? Because it smells super sweet. Oh, I was like, wait, what? A perfume from another woman? Why would I be hugging up on another woman and coming to you? I mean, I am a player, but I'm not that type of player. I'm at least going to put some distance and some time between y'all take a shower and change my fragrance. But she thought this was a perfume and that day, I believe that I oversprayed this one. This was a long time ago, guys, and I believe that I really and truly oversprayed this thing. You have to be careful. You can easily overspray this and, and don't get it twisted, inexpensive, but this thing can really, really project and leave a heavy scent trail, even though it's an EDT. There is a such thing as too much of a good thing. This is not a top-notch fragrance, but I believe that it's a good fragrance. It's a solid fragrance, but uh, yeah, that day it was too much. And uh, I take that as a negative compliment. Now, next up guys, this is gonna be controversial because I know that this one is a signature scent for a lot of guys. Um, it is in the Tom Ford's private collection. A lot of men got put onto this fragrance by Kevin Samuels. He used to talk about this, the Godfather, rest in peace. He used to talk about this all the time and this fragrance, guys, I don't have the absolute full bottle of it and I probably will never need it because I just don't wear it that much, to be honest. This is fucking fabulous from Tom Ford. Guys, this is an aromatic vanilla with some almond in there and it also has touches of leather. I don't get a lot of leather. To me, people call this a leather-based fragrance. I don't get a ton of leather here in like ombre leather, but it does have remnants of that type of Tom Ford leather, the darkness here. I think that this is a great fragrance for any man. This could be, like I said, signature scent, and it can be kind of a casual fragrance. All right, the story, I was wearing this on a date, separate from the Versace date, all right? This is a different lady. So I was wearing this on a date, right? And we're talking and she's she starts talking about how I smell, right? So she's like, you know, I smell a little hint of, a little hint of leather there. It's a little sweetness in your fragrance. I kind of like that. She goes, there's one fragrance that I did go. She said, I went to the mall the other day and I was smelling some Tom Fords. At this time, she had no idea that I was wearing Tom Ford. And she goes, yeah, you know, I was smelling Tom Ford and I smelled that effing fabulous. And that thing just smelled just stank. I was like, oh, uh, that's what I'm wearing right now. She goes, really? She goes, let me smell it again. She smelled it on me and she was like, yeah, it's okay. And that was a negative response. If, if a woman ever just says, especially if she's a nice woman and she just says, uh, that smells okay. That means that that ain't her fragrance and that ain't it. She don't want to smell that on you. Next. Okay, now I know this next one is gonna rock some guys' boats out there. And I know that there are some faithful subscribers that I have to this channel that watch me all the time that love this fragrance, guys. From Dior, this is Dior Homme Sport. Now this is the 2021. Yes, I like this fragrance and yes, I wear it. It is white t-shirt certified. It can lift your mood. For me, it does. I believe it is a good fragrance. It is a solid fragrance. It is not great. It is a good fragrance. Good to have. 
good to reach for when you want to switch things up. I want to tell you guys about the negative reaction from a woman I had. I did, there was a woman, it wasn't someone I was dating, but it's someone that I actually know. And I go in, you know, hey, what's up, what's up with you? You know, you hug, boom. And she's like, boy, you got on a fragrance that make you smell like you about 30 years older than you actually are. And I was like, oh, that's that Dior on sport, baby. But yes, guys, you have to be careful. And I believe that it's because I sprayed on too much of this. If you spray your clothes and it's sitting on your clothes like that, you're going to smell like somebody's uncle or somebody's grandpa. So I'm just saying you learn how to wear your fragrances when to wear them and how to wear them is very 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 important so that was dior own sport and uh she was funny with that one i laughed she laughed too but that was funny next all right now i know this one's not gonna break anybody's hearts because we used to wear this back in the day right and i even made a video about a year and a half ago where i called this one my man in a tuxedo Guys, this is F Black by Ferragamo or F by Ferragamo Black. I'm not sure, but it's I think it's F Black by Ferragamo. This is a spicy apple tonka bean and it has lavender in it. You once again, you have to be careful with lavender. We can really overspray lavender and it's going to get really kind of played out smell. Lavender used to be in fragrances back in the day in the 80s and 90s and this can be rem reminiscent of those type of fragrances. The negative comment on this one was the absolute funniest. Now this guys I was wearing around a lady right and this was someone that I'd known for a couple years and so her and I kind of hooked back up and we we're about to go do something. I can't remember what it was but it was very very casual right and I had this on it was the wrong fragrance at the wrong time honestly it's just all bad so i was wearing this and it wasn't a romantic date it was just like friends right and so she gets close to me and she goes well, what's that you have on but like i said before it was hilarious because i was like oh that's that ferragamo baby you know that's that's f black by ferragamo you know a little something something she goes yeah that ain't it player i was like oh <laughs> She was just like, that just doesn't fit you. She goes, I'm used to you having like that grown man and you have stuff that's deep and rich and smells good. She goes, that right there just, it's just, it's, 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 I'm telling you, that ain't it for you. F Black by Ferragamo, negative reaction. I still got it. I still probably got a little bit more than half left in this bottle and uh, still can't give it away. All right, that was it for this one. Don't wear too much of your fragrance. Nowadays, say, hey man, I'm 50 years old. I wear fragrances completely different now. We all have to learn, but you must learn the number of sprays for each fragrance, how to wear a fragrance, when to wear a fragrance, what fragrance to put on your skin versus your clothes versus both and sometimes. So that was the stories. Those are hilarious stories you guys can laugh at me about, but I want to know what do you guys have for me? Don't act like it's just me. Put it down in the comments. What fragrance have you guys ever worn that has gotten negative responses? Not just from women, but from anybody. Negative responses, guys, put them down in the comments. You need to open up. You need to be honest with yourself because I guarantee you every fragrance in your collection is not banging. There is something in there that has set somebody's nose on fire or somebody's like, hey man, that stuff don't smell good at all. But either way, this was a fun video, man. Thank you guys for stopping by real quick for another video. Make sure you uh, hit that like button on your way out. I love all of you guys. Stay tuned for another video next week and uh, keep smelling good. So, 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 so.